So, tadi kita dah belajar pasal N, L, M dan juga S. Mereka adalah keempat-empat quantum numbers. So, if let's say you ada this table, so you ada different um, principal quantum number. Uh, so, how do you want to find the L, the subshell notation, the magnetic quantum number, electron spin quantum number and also the number of orbitals in the subshell and lastly is about the number of electron yang you boleh ada maximum in the um, in the principal quantum number okay principal quantum number ni kata lain dia adalah energy level okay so if you have energy level ataupun principal quantum number with the symbol n dia, um, kita boleh rumuskan dia sebagai shell jugalah if you have shell n equals to 1 makanya the angular momentum quantum number l the subshell that you can get ialah 0 how to find the subshell to find the subshell um, you boleh tahu the possible value of l will be from 0 until n minus 1 okay so if let's say you ada um, n equals to 1 makanya the possible integer untuk L for N equals to 1 hanyalah 0 ok, because 1 tolak 1 kosong uh, and then the subshell notation untuk L equals to 0 the subshell that you will get adalah S alright and mana you dapat satu ni because the energy level is at N equals to 1 ok, how about the magnetic quantum number nak tahu magnetic quantum number Okay, M will be equals to minus L until positive L. So, dia kena refer to the L value. Okay, so if let's say your L value is 0, that means your magnetic quantum number will be equals to 0. Okay, uh, sebab negative 0 sampai positive 0 adalah 0 sahaja. Next ialah electron spin quantum number. Electron spin quantum number hanya ada dua saja, which is negative half and also positive half. Therefore, you can just simplifykan dia as plus minus half. And how to know the number of orbitals in the subshell? Untuk tahu number of orbitals in the subshell, you can relatekan dengan M. Okay, so if you look back at the M, okay, M value untuk um, N equals to 1 adalah 0. Okay, so bila L equals to 0, M value dia 0. So you ada berapa angka kat sini? You ada satu saja angka. Therefore, you will have 1 orbital in subshell 1S. Okay, uh, number of orbitals ni sometimes we call it as degenerate orbital apakah itu? nanti you akan tahulah dekat slide seterusnya uh, so sama ada you boleh tahu melalui um, bilangan angka yang terdapat pada M ataupun you boleh guna equation um, ataupun you boleh guna equation 2L plus 1 ok, so kerana if let's say L you 0 2 kali 0, 0 plus 1, 1. Okay, so the number of orbitals yang you boleh dapat ataupun the number of the general orbitals that you can get in the subshell 1S hanyalah 1 sahaja. How about the number of electron? Number of electron maximum the energy level N equals to 1 if you ikutkan equation um, 2N squared uh, macam di bawah tadi. Uh, okay, if you ikutkan equation 2N squared makanya the maximum number of electrons for principal quantum number n equals to 1 adalah 2 ok alright next ialah if we have uh, the number of shell ataupun number of energy level n equals to 2 makanya possible um, L value dia boleh dapat sama ada L equals to 0 or L equals to 1 ok so the subshell notation akan mengikut L value if let's say L value 0, subshell dia uh, akan dapat S. If L value equals to 1, makanya the subshell notation yang you dapat adalah P. Since it's at um, energy level N equals to 2, makanya you akan dapat 2S and 2P respectively. Alright, the magnetic quantum number for L equals to 0 will remain 0. Untuk L equals to 1, you know that the magnetic quantum number dia will be from 
negative L until positive L. Okay, so therefore from negative 1 until positive 1. Electron spin quantum number sama je, tak berubah. Memang plus minus half. Okay, tetapi the number of orbitals in the subshell, if let's say you have magnetic quantum number M equals to 0, you ada satu je angka kat sini, jadinya you hanya akan ada satu sahaja orbital di 2S. Okay, if you look at um, the M, bila M equals to negative 1 until positive 1, ada berapa angka kat situ, you tengok ada um, 1, 2, 3. Sebabkan dia ada 3 angka, makanya you akan ada, ada 3 the general orbitals in 2P. Okay, and the maximum number of electron for energy level N equals to 2 adalah sebanyak 8 sahaja. Okay. Okay, seterusnya, if you look at um, energy level N equals to 3, therefore, the possible um, angular momentum quantum number L dia can be L equals to 0, L equals to 1 and also L equals to 2. For the subshell notation, dia akan mengikut the value of L. If L equals to 0, subshell notation S. L equals to 1, subshell uh, notation dia will be P. If L equals to 2, makanya subshell notation dia adalah D. Okay. Uh, and also, the magnetic quantum number M value akan depends pada L value. If L equals to 0, M value 0. L equals to 1, M value will be negative 1 until positive 1. L value equals to, zero, uh, equals to 2, makanya M uh, value will be from negative 2 until positive 2. Okay. Uh, and then, um, number of orbitals, degenerate orbitals akan mengikut uh, berapakah kuantiti uh, yang ada di M. Okay, kalau ada satu saja kuantiti, makanya akan ada satu saja orbital di 3S. Okay, if let's say ada tiga kuantiti di um, M value, makanya you will have three degenerate orbitals in 3P. And if you look at um, negative 2 until positive 2, you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, quantity kan? So, for 5 quantity, um, in your M value, you will have 5 orbitals in 3D subshell, okay? And so on, and number 4 ni pun, it works like that lah, okay? Uh, so, I hope that um, you tahu macam mana nak gunakan penggunaan N, L, M, S and also macam mana you nak tulis subshell notation berdasarkan N dan juga L and macam mana nak tahu the general orbitals berdasarkan uh, magnetic quantum number. Alright? Another point to remember, kalau you nak cari the general orbitals, you boleh cari melalui equation 2L plus 1. Okay? Uh, apakah the general orbitals nanti kita akan go through about it later and also if you want to know the maximum number of electrons in a particular energy level, you can find it from this equation which is maximum number of electron equals to 2n squared so apa yang Miss maksudkan on the previous slide tadi, so if let's say you ada energy level n equals to 2. So, untuk energy level n equals to 2, the possibility untuk L dia can be 0 until positive 1, kan? So, if let's say sebagai dalam contoh ni, if let's say I nak gunakan L equals to 1 lah, uh, makanya untuk n equals to 2, dengan L equals to 1, dia ada subshell dia P. And the M akan depends on the value of L, which is from negative 1 until positive 1, okay? So, nak tahu berapakah degenerate orbitals untuk um, P orbital, you boleh gunakan equation to L plus 1, okay? So, since you, had, you gunakan L U yang 1 bukan 0, uh, so, untuk L equals to 1, subshell dia P. Untuk tahu berapa degenerate orbital untuk P subshell, makanya 2 kali kali dengan 1, campur 1 adalah 3. So, you check here. Yes, you have 3 degenerate P orbitals. Ataupun kalau you tak nak guna this calculation pun, you tengok berapa angka yang dihasilkan M from L equals to 1 ni, ada 3 je angka, negatif 1, kosong, positif 1. Therefore, you ada 3 degenerate P orbitals. Uh, that's why lah you ada um, Px, Py, Pz, okay? 
sebab you ada tiga degenerate p orbitals. Uh, nanti cara nak lukis-lukis nanti kita buat kemudian, okay? Um, and also untuk you tahu maximum number of electrons in 3p orbital, uh, you just gunakan equation 2n squared. So the maximum number of electron in 3p orbital adalah sebanyak 8 electron. Okay, kenapa you ada 3 degenerate p, p orbital? Sebab bila you, like, say, you nak isi elektron yang berada di 3p orbital, dia hanya akan untuk p orbital, you hanya akan ada 3 kotak sahaja. 3 kotak ni bermaksud 3 degenerate orbital. Okay? Uh, ataupun sometimes you can see um, cara nak isi elektron sama ada you letak dalam box atau you letak um, 3p macam ni kan. Ha. So this box yang pertama adalah 3px, this one adalah 3py, 3pz. Okay, uh, nanti Miss akan ajar macam mana nak kira, uh, nak nak letak elektron. Okay, so ini je lah so far yang kamu kena tahu. This is pengenalan untuk the next subtopik. Okay, so kiranya macam mana p orbital dapat tiga kotak is because uh, uh, this kotak represents degenerate orbitals. Is, macam mana you dapat 3 degenerate, uh, macam mana you dapat this degenerate p orbital is from the m, m value. Ada 3, makanya memang untuk p orbital, you hanya akan ada 3 degenerate orbitals. Ha, Example yang pertama, if let's say you ada electron in an atom, at n equals to 3, list all the possible set of quantum numbers for the highest energy electrons. Uh, berapa set of quantum numbers yang kamu dah belajar tadi? You have n, l, m, n, s. Okay, so dia nak set. So, you kena buat in set. Untuk n equals to 3, you know that the l could be... The L could be from 0, 1, 2. Kan L dia daripada 0 until N minus 1 kan? Tapi dia nak cakap kat sini possible set of quantum numbers for the highest energy of the electron. Uh, previously, we have learned that semakin bertambah value L, okay, semakin bertambah value L, semakin bertambahlah energy. So, towards right, kan bertambah value of L. That means, bertambahlah uh, energy tu. Therefore, L equals to 2 has the highest energy. Okay? So, you tak perlu buat set untuk 0 dengan 1. You hanya perlu buat set untuk 2 sahaja. L equals to 2. Therefore, that's why they choose L equals to 2 here. Okay? Untuk M pula, you know that the M is... You got it from L, which is M will be negative L sampai lah positive L. Um, so, M will be uh, ranging from negative 2, uh, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2. Tapi, dia nak set of quantum number, jadi you kena susun dia dalam bentuk N, L, M dan juga S. Uh, untuk spin quantum number, you ada negative half dan juga positive half. Itu tak ada efek apa-apa pun sebab um, apa yang efek untuk tahu the highest energy of electron ialah L value. Okay, so nak tahu highest energy, you kena tahu L value. Semakin tinggi L value, semakin highest the energy, semakin higher the energy. Okay, so now you listkan all the possible set of quantum numbers uh for n equals to 3 and with the l equals to 2 okay so you buat satu satu uh, yang pertama uh, n l m s 3 2 uh, yang ni ikutlah satu persatu n l m s okay uh, so macam mana you dapat tiga ni daripada energy level n equals to 3 2 memang you kena letak 2 saja because kita dah choose L equals to 2 since L equals to 2 has the highest energy. M you ambil satu persatu. Mula you ambil negatif 2 dahulu. Okay. Uh, so this set ialah untuk M when M is equals to uh, this set is when M equals to negative 2. Okay. 
Uh, yang lain remain the same je. Uh, N dia 3, L 2, M yang berubah. Uh, S pun berubah juga. Uh, which is negative half. Okay. Uh, yang the second set ni pula adalah it is when M equals to negative 1. Okay. Yang set yang seterusnya pula ialah bila M equals to 0. Ni pula bila M equals to positive 1. Y. Last one ialah bila M equals to um, positive 2. Okay. Uh, tapi yang stay the same ialah N no L. M dengan S saja berubah. Yang ni bila spin dia positive half. And this side bila spin dia jadi negative half. Bila dia nak cakap dia nak minta set. Jadi you kena bagi dalam bentuk set. Next, try this. State whether or not each of the following symbols is an acceptable designation for an atomic orbital. Explain kenapa dia tak acceptable. Okay. Contohnya, untuk contoh A, 2D. N equals to 2, L equals to 2. Hmm, betul ke? Kan tadi kita dah discuss ke? Kalau untuk um, L, it would be the possible integer value, they would be from 0 until n minus 1. Therefore, uh, value of L kena kurang daripada value of n. So, it doesn't make sense that. Okay, it doesn't make sense untuk L equals to 2. Okay, untuk let's say, if let's say you are the energy level n equals to 2, the possible value of integer untuk L should be ranging from 0 until 1. Okay. So, therefore, A ni adalah dia unacceptable. Okay. Um, kenapa dia unacceptable? Because L untuk N equals to 2 hanyalah boleh sampai 1 sahaja. Okay. Next, untuk 3P. Uh, N equals to 3, L equals to 1. Acceptable ke tidak? Okay. Again, since N equals to 3, the possible value untuk L must be 0, 1 and 2. Therefore, kat sini dia tulis L equals to 1 kan? Uh, therefore, it is acceptable. Last one ialah untuk 7S. For N equals to 7, the L will be ranging from 0 until 6. Okay? So, if let's say for this set, it is acceptable. Next, I would like you to try this and complete this table if let's say you are the shell K, L and also M with respective value of N and how you're going to find the L. So for N equals to 1, L will be 0. The orbital notation will be 1S because this 1 comes from the N equals to 1. S comes from the L value equals to 0. M value equals to 0 sebab um, M value depends pada L. Kalau L 0, M pun 0 juga. The number of the general orbitals depends pada M. Kalau M ada 1, walaupun ada 1 saja quantity, um, makanya the number of the general orbitals dia adalah 1. Okay? And untuk shell K, sebabkan N dia 2, makanya L dia can be 0 or 1 and you just Lengkapkan saja accordingly. Um, untuk shell M, N equals to 3, makanya L dia can be 0, 1 and 2. Okay, so you lengkapkan saja orbital notation dia. Cari M and also the number of the general orbitals for the respective values. Okay. Next, for this part, um, just try this as well and I will look on to it time come tutorial nanti ya.